Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be decorating my three-tier tray. I absolutely love to decorate my tier tray. It's like one of my most favorite things in this whole house to, deco to decorate. <laughs> I can't talk. Okay, so I leave ours on the peninsula, you know, in the kitchen. I love it. I definitely have more of a farmhouse kind of style. I use lots of different textures. I use woods and greenery and ceramic and metals and different sizes and I just and I just love to fill my tree. You know, tear trays is as fun as they are to decorate. They can be a little tricky sometimes. So it's like you said, you just need a little inspiration. I know I turn to Pinterest for certain things or other YouTubers, but I figured out how I love my tree. So I thought I would do a video of me decorating it. That we kind of like decorate it together. <laughs> I do like to lay everything out in front of me on the counter. That way I can kind of like see what I have, pick and choose. You know, of course not everything's gonna fit in there, but I just thought we would do this together. So let's get started. Okay, so this is a lot of the stuff that I'm going to use on my tear tray. I've got some wicker balls. I've got a lighted house from Target Dollar Spot. A sign from Hobby Lobby. Some, definitely some greenery, some cotton stems. I have a little blue bird. Um, this is a mini rolling pin that I made. If you're interested on how to make these, I, let me know in the comments and I will do a DIY video on how to make these. And then let's see, a little cow from my husband's grandmother. And then the most special thing to me is I always use Scrabble tiles. So I will spell out the word farmhouse. This is the Scrabble that was my mom's. So I always use this in my decor. I always spell out a different word. But, all right, and then here is my three tier tray that I'm gonna use, mine is from Hobby Lobby, and they still have them. So, all right, let's get to decorating. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna use this as the front because on this side is like the seams where the, the metal was to get formed together. So this is my front. This is some greenery from Hobby Lobby. I don't know the name of it, but all I do, I just like to put greenery, just fill in down in the bottom, just to add a little pop of green, not so much silver. And all I do, I just kind of just scatter it throughout doesn't have to be perfect. I just lay it throughout. I do like to hang some over the sides. As you can see, there's just some greenery down in there. Okay, now I'm going to take some of this, which was this bushel from Hobby Lobby. This was $6, but I got it 50% off for $3. Now, I'm just going to start putting some of my bigger pieces in here. Okay. So the cow, my husband's grandmother, right there, my little bird from Hobby Lobby, and I like it to have a little bit of height. So all this is is some of that foam from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I stuck some toothpicks in it, and the hoe, I stick it down in there, and it props it up a little bit and helps hold it into place. See that's there. Here's some more greenery. You just kind of play around, just move stuff. Up here, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Scrabble. Spell out farmhouse. This. It's got a little pop of the purple, my favorite color. I'm going to put cotton stem. I have to play with it. I'm going to use this little wicker ball. And I know that this is kind of short, so I'm going to use some little foam blocks. Oh, set those right there. 
I'm just going to prop that up there. Use this little black sun. Let's see. I'm going to use another little wicker ball. Maybe about right there. Take some greenery. I just put some greenery down here to help cover that star foam for the how to prop up my, my bird. It's so pretty. Okay, and I'm just gonna spin it right here. I'm gonna put the house, turn it on. Let's see. Let's try. Add some greenery. Add a little bit more greenery around the cow. Turn this. Um, I'm gonna use this bigger wicker ball. Put it right there. I'm going to use my cross. I have some Velcro, sticky Velcro. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to attach it to the inside of this tray. And it's just going to hang there. Okay, right here. I'm going to put some more cotton. Just kind of fills it in, gives it that farmhouse look. Okay, and then down here, I'm going to use either this little galvanized pitcher from Hobby Lobby. Put that there. Let's see. So that's that one. Or I have this little ceramic pot from the Dollar Tree that I kind of just you know painted just some white on there and wiped it off, make it look a little more rustic. Or I could use this one. Hmm. What do y'all think? <laughs> Let's see. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna put a little pop of greenery up here too. Off a couple more little heads. I'm just gonna just kind of place these here and there. Like I said, I just like it to be a little full looking. I love green. Some greenery in there. All right. Let's see. Maybe a little pop up top. Kind of hide some of that. There's that. I think it looks great. Okay, I think it turned out great. I love it. So I'm gonna show you just a little bit closer. Got you know some lavender up top with some la uh, lamb's ear, cotton stems, little wicker, little greenery, the farmhouse scrabble tile, you know a little some black. Got the black and white, the little rolling pin, lots of greenery in there. The cow, the little blue bird, and the cotton stems just give it, you know, that farmhouse look. But yes, like I said, this is definitely year round, spring, whatever. I love changing out the decor for this. So, in probably, probably the next couple weeks. I will start doing Easter. <laughs> I love, you know, I have my cross dangling. A little light from the 
Target Dollar Spot house. Yeah. It's so warm. That's what I love about the farmhouse decor. Farmhouse style to me is just so warm. Alright, and like I said, if you want to see a DIY video on little mini rolling pins, let me know in the comments. But alright, we are back around. <laughs> so, let me know what you think. This was an easy three tier tray. Just you want know, to give you some ideas on how to decorate. Like I said, I love the pops of green just to add some warmth. And just to fill in the bottom, because if not, there's a lot of galvanized. So, Alright, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.